It's the midweek edition of Singapore Business Tonight. I'm Joanne Lee. Thanks for joining me. Alexandra Hospital, meanwhile, is to start on a pilot project to monitor bedridden patients using sensors and fiber optics, making it a world's first. Industry observers say these are just two examples to show that Singapore businesses, even small ones, are well positioned to ride the next wave in the infocom industry. Unveiling its fifth 10-year technology roadmap yesterday, the Infocom Development Authority says that Singapore is poised to play on the world stage. It believes that advances in Infocom, nano and biotechnologies will drive a new wave of growth. We are actually very well positioned to be a major player as we go forward to 2015. We have over 6,000 multinationals and local companies in Singapore, and many of these are in the Infocom space. So very strong uh, industry base in the Infocom space. And if you look at our research base, we're equally strong research community. For one, Alexandra Hospital will begin a pilot project aimed at preventing patients from developing bed sores. Sensors will be placed below the bed and then linked to a computer using fiber optic cables. That project is mainly for monitor the sleeping pattern for the bedridden patient. And bed sore in severe case may cause skin damage or cancer. If the sensors detect non-movement for a prolonged period of time, nurses will be alerted to turn the patient around. In the telecoms arena, IDA sees a converged wireless broadband platform by the year 2010, and Singtel says this is already happening. In many ways, we're delivering exactly that already today. If you think of what Singtel has recently launched with 3G and uh, the Singtel Trilogy, as we call it. That's actually about convergence of a mobile platform and a fixed line platform. So for us, being able to deliver video calls over a mobile phone on 3G, over a video phone uh, in the house, and even over the internet as well, that's already beginning to show us this convergent picture. Industry players say opportunities abound in other areas such as health, power source, storage, memory and display technologies. And while many smaller companies may lack scale in terms of R&D and capital spending, they can leverage on exploit technologies, an A-star unit which helps companies bring ideas from concept to fruition to the marketplace. Well, that's all for Singapore Business tonight. Do join me again tomorrow for business news that you can use. Good night.